So me personally, what should I do? Because I don't know what to do. They don't come. So would you consider it as spiritual? <laughs> <laughs> Or just that maybe I'm not good looking, I'm not the aspects. Yeah. What do you think well, might be um, the reason? <laughs> hey guys, you are welcome back to my channel. And as you can see in today's video, I'm not here alone. I'm here with one of my amazing friends way back in the university. I think the first time I saw him was in secondary school when I was going to write my note deck. Most time I, I used to, I was in a wheelchair, right? Yeah. When you saw me, I was in a yeah. wheelchair. Yeah, that's when yeah. I saw him. And since then, coincidentally, we met in the university and we were classmates in the same class and also in the same hostel. Yeah. So we come way back. We are from way back. And he's called Raphael Jr. He's a musician, a songwriter. In fact, he's a whole package, a rapper, everything. And I want you guys to check out his content on YouTube. And I'll leave his link down below in the description box. So guys, do well to check him out. And you will love him. So today we have an interesting topic to discuss. Because guys, you know your girl is single and searching. And there is something I've really been thinking about. And I feel he's the best person to let me know why I'm bailless. Because I don't understand. I want to know what guys actually expect from a woman. What they want to see in a woman before they approach her. Because me, they've not been approaching me. So, I want to find out from him. You guys also can also leave a comment down below to let me know what to do and what not to do to, you know, grab. <laughs> so, Rav, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, let, me, let me say this thing. The word amazing brings some memories. Especially from the VGMs. You've got now, I hope you're doing great. It's <laughs> amazing. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> Attention. <laughs> okay, Ralph, yeah. you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. It's good to see you today. It's great. Um, mm. It's been a while, you know. Yes. Yeah, we, we always talk on, on, on the digital space. Yeah. But yeah. physically, it's a bit. Yeah. A bit of a. It's an impediment, so. Due to distance, but it's it's nice. It's nice yeah. to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. So the question thing for today. Yeah. What do you guys want to see in a woman before you approach her? Because I don't understand. <laughs> okay, with, with this particular topic, um, somebody might say it's relative. There's no fixed factors that causes a guy to go to a girl, but. There are some basic things that um, almost everybody has his own, her own personal preference. And no matter or the case of guys, there are certain things each guy looks for to find the kind of girl he wants. You know, um, it may be how you present yourself, your attire. It may be how you carry yourself, your mannerisms. It may be how you speak. It may be how you even smile. Somebody likes dimples. So if he sees a girl with dimples, that's it. That's his woman. Somebody likes hair. How your hair looks like on your head. Somebody likes that. Somebody doesn't like small earrings. Somebody likes big earrings. There are there are so many different different things. And I'm just like when it comes to the physical self, somebody likes body. I just don't like much body. I just like a slim thick girl. I just like Everything. Yeah, so he has different, 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 different categories and options that men choose from. But mostly it's based on what they want and what gets them and what catches their eye. So me personally, what should I do? Because I don't know what to do. They don't come. So would you consider it as spiritual? <laughs> <laughs> or just that maybe I'm not good looking, I'm not the aspects. Yeah. What do you think well, might be um, the reason? <clears throat> not to rule out the possibility of spirituality. We are in a world where it's both physical and spiritual. That's if you're a believer. So we can't rule that out. Okay, but, maybe I'm not good looking enough for but, that. But physically, yeah, um, every person knows what they want in a person, in a woman. I was going to say something, but I won't, I won't say it. Everybody has their point of attraction. Like I said, um, you are intelligent. You are nerdy. <laughs> you have nice skin color. So, um, 
Hey guys, I have a nice skin color. Hey. Said by Ralph. She has a nice skin complexion. So too. if you like a lady with a nice skin color, you yes. know, you know who to contact. Exactly. So Me. hit it up, you know. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's a matter of who likes what you present. Okay. So um, it's like in the market, you are supposed to go and buy tomatoes. And like most of you ladies, you are really good with that. Somebody may just go and buy any kind of tomatoes. It's okay with it. And probably doesn't know much difference. But somebody else may go to the market and go like, may pay in toast, may pay the abre for the the any any Those are specifications. So immediately the person enters the market and finds out through touch, through sight, through observation, and probably through smell. So like, yeah, this is what I want. So in the same manner, when we when we scale up onto the human bit, yeah, um, probably the guy who likes your specs hasn't yet met you. Yeah, okay. You understand? Or you haven't yet met the person. Yeah, okay. And like I'm saying, some guys like one aspect, but when they come close and probably find out your whole package, they begin to have their doubts. And that's human beings' nature. So um, I always advise guys that, yeah, there's this thing you like in a girl, but you always seek for more because there's more to what the eye sees. Plain and simple. So then, would you then say that my it's a disadvantage to me because like I'm always indoors, I don't go out. Is well, one of the reasons why well, well, I'm not being able to find someone. Well, me per se, I don't step out that much, but I make sure when I step out, I step out. <laughs> if you understand what I mean, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not trying to use any. Ambiguity here, but I'm just being realistic. Presentation. So you may not step out that much, but you step out regardless, don't you? At least twice a week, once a week, you're still stepping out. Sometimes for almost like a month, I'm indoors. I don't <laughs> go anywhere because so, of the issue of transportation yeah, and all so, that. So, so um, that's also into consideration. It means so long as you would like to meet new people. It is now a duty upon yourself to find time to at least find yourself in a particular physical social circle once in a while. Mm. But it's quite important. Me, I don't go out. Okay. But I still have a way mm. I connect with people socially. So <laughs> I'm bailless though, but <laughs> I have access. If you understand what I mean, <laughs> I still get to connect. But it's a matter of choice. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, um, it's about improving your game, okay. as the saying goes. Okay. Yeah. So well, from now yeah. onwards, anytime I want to step out, I'll come to you for <laughs> trans um, transport fare, so that I'll be able to go out and connect. I, I <laughs> yes, Ramon, this is a humble appeal. Um, <laughs> our sister needs transportation, <laughs> so I think we'll be opening a GoFundMe account. <laughs> So she can, don't so your Jamra can use for her transportation. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever she needs to step out, especially when this matter of bay has come in. <laughs> it's quite important. We need to help her find a bay. Miss Jamra. I wish you have a wonderful man. Guys, don't mind him. Don't mind him. Oh, Mr. Ow. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's still important. Oh, that's true. And, 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 and there's one thing. Your social circles. Mm. Um, in this in this age, there's a bit of a slow down process of having a strong social circle because of some of these um, problems you are mentioned, such as transportation and um, the advent of the digital system. Somebody finds it a bit too much work to connect with somebody physically. So as a result, you all can bear with me that sometimes you have this friend you try to connect with, send them a message, they don't even respond. It takes days before they respond to your message. 
people are putting lazy in trying to connect with people. And the fact that probably this person may not be as physically attractive as you might have wished doesn't mean you can't have a conversation with the person. Because, as you all know, they are sapiosexuals. They connect with the intellect. So, how you speak with a person, the person's ideology on issues, the person's understanding, how the person analyzes and deals with stuff, can be the point where you realize, whoa, this is the kind of person I'm looking for. Because, mind you, some people have beauty but without brains. Let's be factual. Like I made a post on Facebook some time ago about certain people not being. <laughs> no, let me leave it. <laughs> certain people are beautiful, but they ain't got brains. And others are beautiful with brains. And from philosophy and from nature and from experience, beauty is not only about the big stuff and the flashy stuff that we see from ladies. No. Beauty goes beyond. That physical thing that you have body, you can you can cut work and all that. No, which is beyond that. Yeah, so it's about connecting. Oh, I've learned a lot today yeah. from guys, your perspective. Yep. So now I think I'll be doing more of connecting with people, yep. both on social media anyway. and outside social media. I'll try as much as possible to get a transport fare from you at least twice a yeah, week. Yeah, so okay, so the that go, the go GoFundMe account to be set up very soon. And <laughs> The link will be placed in the, no, dis in the description of the I video. It from you. It will be placed from in the description you. of the video. I'll just be an administrator for the account just to make sure everything is running <laughs> successfully. So yeah, um, 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 <laughs> just make sure you donate wholeheartedly to help our sister find the day. Hey, this one the Agenda B101. Yes. Or what will we call it? Ag agenda. agenda. <laughs> Bay Hands. Bay Hands 101. And so, so, so note you, I'm also a graphic designer, so I think I'll try and design a flyer for... <clears throat> For your Jamaican bay hunt, it when you have so whenever you see the YG bay hunt, you should know it's your Jamaican <laughs> looking for a bay. And the whole family account will be placed in there, and how you actually be going to be able to support the, the cause will be very important. So we humbly appeal that you support our sister's GoFundMe account. Yeah, I don't to mind help her Ralph, it's okay. It's and it's very necessary that you try your best, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, thank you so much for having this conversation with oh, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has really been an eye opener, yeah. and I'm sure my viewers also enjoyed yeah. and also learned one or two things yeah. from it. Yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And, 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 and this is to her, but my small advice to guys also is that let's not let ladies feel that it is always about their body. Look at your mother. Is she the most beautiful woman you've ever seen in your life? No. You see more beautiful woman. But ask yourself, why did your dad choose her? It's beyond the physical. It goes to the level of the mental. When you can't connect with somebody on a mental level, it's hard for you to stay with the person. As our country, we have find so many people cheating all around. Though their wives are beautiful. Though their husbands are nice. It's beyond that. Learn to connect with people on the social level on an intellectual level. It helps you find out who they really are, how they think, <coughs> and how they analyze issues, and how they solve problems when problems come around. So at least, this is my two cents I've given to the guys out there. Mr. Ramo, open are fine. And yes, sir, a 20 bonon coin, no, bro. And your hips, and your dressing, pe. If you connect to the person on a good mental level, you can be able to teach the person stuff that you want on the person. And the person can teach you stuff. And you connect properly, so you listen to each other and have a better relationship. That's the most important thing because the concept of Bay is to reach the point where you can <clears throat> be able to live forever and ever. That is the concept of marriage. So let's try to find Bay so that we can be able to live forever and ever. Now, enjoy the for the panel. Again, the for. No, it's not always about that. Let's connect well. That's the most important thing. Wow, wow, wow. You've said it all. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I'm sure my viewers also have learned a lot from what yeah. you said. And it was pretty fun having this conversation with you because it was a much needed conversation for me. Because yeah. I've been wondering here and there why they don't approach me and then you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
So thank you so much for having this conversation with me. And guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Yajamra. And also don't forget to follow Raphael Jr. on all social media handles as Raphael Jr. Yes. R-A-F-A-Y-E-L Jr. J-U-N-I-O-R. That's yeah. it. Okay. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Instagram handle, Yajamra. Yeah,